Hey everyone, Brian here, your honest mechanic. Today I want to share the most common causes when your car has rough or uneven idling at stop signs or traffic lights, but otherwise drives normal on the road. Figuring this out is crucial because while driving smooth may mislead you into ignoring the issue, prolonged rough idles can damage engine components and reduce performance, gas mileage, and resale value over time. The most common culprit is worn engine or transmission mounts. Mounts secure the engine and transmission to the vehicle's frame to reduce vibration and noise, but over years of heat and load stress, the rubber can crack and sag. When idle at stops, the looseness allows more engine rocking than the mounts can dampen, creating a noticeable shake or vibration in the steering wheel or seats. However, at driving speeds, momentum and engine torque smooth out the motion, masking the issue. So pay attention if vibration is worsening lately or the engine makes clunking noises when accelerating or braking. Replacing deteriorated mounts restores normal idle and protects other components from abnormal wear. Another frequent cause of uneven idle is dirty or faulty spark plugs. Spark plugs supply the crucial electrical spark to ignite the compressed fuel and air mix in combustion. Over time, normal byproducts of combustion build up on the spark plug electrodes insulating them from properly sparking. Dirty plugs can fire weakly or intermittently, creating an imbalanced idle as some cylinders misfire. Driving speeds generate higher voltages that can overcome this fouling to spark properly, explaining the normal performance on the road. So check and replace worn spark plugs, usually at 30,000 to 100,000 mile intervals per the maker's maintenance schedule. Use the specified heat range plugs for your vehicle and check the spark plug wires too for cracks or loose connections. If you smell fuel during rough idling, suspect clogged injectors. Fuel injectors spray a precise pattern of fuel into each cylinder's intake ports. But that narrow opening can collect gum, varnish, and carbon over years, distorting the spray pattern. That leads to an overly rich or lean fuel mixture in cylinders that throws off smooth idling. Often, brief spurts of higher engine speeds and loads when driving are enough to clean out the injectors and mask any imbalance. So try reputable fuel injector cleaners first to break down those deposits. If roughness persists, a professional cleaning or replacement of the fuel injectors may be needed. Another common source of vacuum leaks is loose, cracked, or missing air intake components providing unmetered air that throws off the engine computer's fuel calculations. This leads to rough, unstable idles as cylinders fire with too much or too little fuel. Driving introduces more airflow that may compensate for the added leak inadvertently. Physically inspect all accessible vacuum lines, intake gaskets, PCV valve hoses, throttle body, and intake manifold for damage or loose connections. Spray a short burst of throttle cleaner or carb cleaner around gaskets with the engine running listening for any spike in RPM that signals a leak source to reseal. Be methodical to check the entire system. Don't overlook that workhorse under the hood either. A dirty air filter can also contribute to rough idling situations. Just think about it. An air filter's purpose is permitting sufficient airflow into the engine for optimal combustion while catching harmful particles, but trapped debris builds up over months of driving, increasingly restricting needed air intake volume. At idle, this restricted volume upsets the ideal air-fuel ratio, contributing to engine misfires and instability. Fortunately, most filters have gauges indicating when airflow is significantly reduced based on trapped dirt. Driving speeds pull enough air volume to hit the ideal ratio, again restoring smooth performance. So be proactive replacing dirty filters per your vehicle's maintenance schedule. Finally, if you've ruled out the other common causes, take a look at the idle air control valve, or IACV. The IACV is responsible for regulating idle speeds, bypassing the throttle body at closed position to admit just enough air to maintain the correct idle. However, accumulated carbon or varnish buildup can stick the valve over time, causing erratic idling behavior. Driving cleans and liberates the valving eliminating the variable idle issue in gear. Try cleaning the IACV first with throttle body cleaner, or consider replacing it if rough idling persists during troubleshooting. I hope this gives you a solid starting point to tackle that annoying rough idle situation. Methodically check each common cause until you hit pay dirt. Feel free to comment any questions and please hit subscribe to join me in more DIY repairs. Thanks for watching and keep wrenching on.